Hi guys, Gunchimp here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Um, if you remember on the last episode we found a place called Mistwatch uh, which is the den of um, basically slave traders and um, we thought I thought it done pretty well in that we found our way to the very back of this um, complex um, but it turns out there was actually a door that we needed a key to open and obviously we didn't have that key so um, we couldn't open it. And there's a guy called Krista trying to speak to us. Now I remember this quest line uh, from an earlier playthrough I did. So I kind of know what's going to come up. Um, but for now what we need to do is obviously get back in there again. And there is a dragon flying around which you probably hear growling off in the distance. So we've got to be quite careful as well. Don't fail arrow mine. And this is another way into into mist watch uh, so yeah let's get this uh, let's get this moving now the good thing is we have killed already in the last episode quite a lot of these mist watch ruffians so uh, there we go that's where we're going so hopefully it'll just be a case of you know mopping up the last pockets of resistance and then once we've done that obviously um, going to the wolf form to feed on all these unfortunates because you know that's just how it rolls and uh, yeah oh that's nothing whoop ha well, there you go there's another way of getting getting over it or maybe not no <laughs> but uh, what a disaster so far um hopefully the rest of this episode is going to be a little bit smoother so, yeah let's get this done Because the Mistwatch bandits are a lot tougher than normal bandits. Uh, in the most part, they're kind of more like silver hands in terms of uh, damage resistance. So you've got to be, you know, tread carefully with them. Don't take it for granted that you're going to one shot them. So. Okay, he doesn't. Look. Okay, this is the door that we we found on the last episode that we couldn't open, so hopefully he's gonna have a key for us. Oh. Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. Okay, what's going on? It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. Okay, calm down and tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I just you're right. Let me explain. Viola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. It's been months. And I've been searching for her since. I heard a rumor that these bandits were ransoming captives. So I thought she may be here. I managed to sneak past the guards and get this far, but... Really? I don't think I can go on. I'm no warrior. Please, can you look for her? Right, how the hell did he get past those bandits with all the trouble that I had? Uh, let's see. Um... Honestly, I have no idea. But I've looked all over, and the kidnappings here started around when she disappeared. So I have to hope. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. We'll go find her. Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. Ooh, coins are always good. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. <laughs> you have no idea. Right, first things first, let's uh, raid the place. Eh, okay. It's worth it. Not so much. Until you can find out whether Black Viola Soldier, awesome. Here, there's nothing I care to discuss. Small sack now. Iron helmet. Wait five. Until yeah, why not? Find out whether Viola is here. There's nothing I care to discuss. Fair enough, dude. I'm getting on with that. Jeez. Now the good thing is, hopefully now all these guards are killed. Because uh, we wasted them on the way down here. Um. So hopefully we can actually do this a lot quicker than normal, because obviously normally... Oh, these are reset. That's interesting. Normally you'd have to fight your way through all the bandit guards, but obviously I'm kind of hoping that, yeah, we've already killed them. So uh, it'd make this a lot easier. Yep, we've raided all the ingredients. So, oh, that chest. 
Yeah, <laughs> I've definitely passed through here, you can tell. So yeah, let's carry on up to the top of the tower. So obviously we need to go in here, work our way through this tower as well. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is I think I may have inadvertently killed his wife already. Oh no, phew. So we're going up this way, the bandit. Actually, do we even have the quest? Whoops. Oh yeah, we do. Excellent. It's activated. So let's go find his wife. That's another one. Okay, so we're going back in here again. And now we've got to be careful because obviously we haven't been in this area yet. We couldn't get in before. So let's see what happens. All oh. right, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Hang on, Snowback? Uh, stand aside, woman. I'm here for Fiola. Fiola? How do you know that name? Uh, husband sent me. Christer? He's here? He sure is. The fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Or I was, once. Don't you see? Nope. I left that old scab. Uh. Came home to Skyrim <laughs> and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a piece. Okay, so she's basically set up the mist watch. Interesting. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. Uh, hmm. Well, you've got various options. I mean, you can kill her. Um, but I've got a better idea. So for now, uh, what am I supposed to tell Krista? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. Uh, okay, I'll try getting him to leave. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. Okay. I mean, basically, you can kill her. And... Uh... I'll be honest with you, that's what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I need to sell it, feed on a body. But not for now. For now what we're going to do is uh, get back to Krista. And let's see if there's a quicker way of doing it than going through all the towers again. Well, if you can't kind of drop down that way. But I could get down there. Okay. Whoops, come on. Oh, come on, you can, you can make it. Okay, so what we're going to do basically is go give Krista the ring. Um, he'll be all sad and basically disappear. Uh, then we can go back to her. We'll kill her because, to be honest, you know she set up a slave trading ring. So we'll be doing Skyrim a favour. Um, and then once that's done, wolf it up, feed on the bodies, and um, that's a pretty decent episode. Uh, for now, though, run the Iron Arrow. Plus the drawbridge, and let's go speak to Krista. I got some bad news for you, mate. What news? Why isn't Fiola with you? Uh, I found this ring. No, she's dead, but I found this. That. I gave it to her on our wedding day. Help me, divines. It's true, isn't it? Right, so, bud. I'm sorry. Keep the ring. I cannot bear the weight of them in my heart. And I must make the journey alone now. Thank you for... Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So now we're going to go back to Fiola anyway. So, whoops. Actually, this way we are going to have to go through the tower because I think it's a bit more difficult to actually try and... Mario jump back to where she is. Oh, she's here. So... Oh, it's you. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. What? Did you get rid of Krister? Yep. 
How did... What? No, forget <laughs> it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man and that's what matters. I owe you a debt yes, you do. and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. Okay. Guess what? You're gonna die. Let's uh... Uh -huh. That's what you get for setting up a slave trading ring. Bitch. Oh man, why she got such good stuff? It's so heavy. Oof. Dag damn it. Okay, get rid of that. I mean, these are worth quite a lot, that's a problem. Oh, they're not, though. Anything that's worth... Alright, let's see what else we can take from her. Not really too bad about heavy... Well, wait, I'll take that. And the dagger, because the dagger's like an enchant. Right. So, man, these things are reset again? What the heck? <laughs> uh, are all the other bodies still here? Yes, they are. Okay. Now, the top of there. Was there any more bodies up there? I can't remember. I don't think I will check. Because uh, I can't remember. And basically the plan now is to werewolf it up and feed. Now once we've fed on all the bodies, we can pretty much ignore this place. Because I think I've searched all the bodies pretty well. Um, I think the only thing they've got left on them are weapons and armour. So, which are too heavy basically to carry. Yeah, we've checked her. That guy's got heavy armor. <laughs> take the dagger. Take the armor, take the braces, the shoes you can keep. Yeah. It's all too heavy, that stuff. Uh, there's another one on the stairs. So, yeah, good job I did come in here because there are more bodies. Take the armor. Uh, and we're getting, again, we're getting weighed down. Annoying, <laughs> really is. Um, but I think we've done, we've done pretty well. There's another one there, and I think that's all of them because then it there is our. The only thing we got we didn't do is check her chambers, so we'll go do that. So yeah, let's see if there's anything really interesting worth taking. I'm not even going to buy, buy those books either, because they're not school books, so. How about here? No, no, no. I mean, basically, just look at the value of the books, and if it's anything over about 40, then it's normally a skill book. Stormcloak Officer's Boots. I knew that was going to happen. So, what makes the Officer Boots so special? Let's have a look at them. Probably just the style, I would have thought. Uh, they're pretty funky, though. Oh, and the light armor. Hmm. Pretty funky. So let's get rid of that. Right, um so she was in here. Oh, more gold. Cute. Some random cells with nothing in them. So let's see where she was staying. Some wabbit. Steel war hammer. Okay, why is that like that through the wall? Extreme stamina. Wolf. Oh, there we go. It's got to be a skill book. You can tell by the value. It was a lot higher than the other book. So, okay. Um, so yeah, well, I think we're done basically. So let's get back to the bodies.
and start the feeding frenzy. Okay, so this is the first body, so let the feeding begin. It's probably the worst level impression ever, but there you go. Okay, feed. Give that heart. Yum yum. Okay, and then there's two more, I think, further down. Wasn't the one on the stairs? Yum yum. And then there's two more down here. There they are. Yum yum. Now you can see it's kind of difficult to get it lined up with where the body actually is so you can do the feed animation. I feed on this unfortunate as well. Or it's not want not and all that. Okay, whoops, don't get stuck in a door. Good. Right, uh, I think that's it for this place, so. Oh, see what I mean? It's just so annoying. Uh, where's that doorway? There it is. I mean, playing Skyrim in third person, I just wouldn't <laughs> even contemplate it, to be honest. Yum yum. Where's the other one? Tasty. Um, was there anything in here? No, there wasn't. Okay. Um, any more bodies on the stairs? I can't remember. Oh, these traps are activated, and obviously now that I'm a werewolf, um, Lightfoot perk doesn't actually work, so I'm going to be a little careful. Have I sat down? And then, whoops. Any more in here? Nope. It's just, yeah. Okay. Huh, okay, we're out here. So, she thought there was more bodies, but obviously not. Um, Got to remember where they all are, though. Whoops, there's one. Almost went past him. Okay, and then there's two more here, and then there's one outside, I think. Is that all of them? It's not that many actually, I thought there was more. There she is. Okay, uh, let's just check the skill tree as well, see if there's any perks we can actually spend. Oh, there is. I didn't realise. So that's at four. That's done. I mean, I'm not really bothered which one I'm picking, to be honest. I'm just... Oh, from a quite close to getting another one. So let's just wait for four hours. Okay, that's better. And he's got the... Oh, hang on. Let's suit up because that's why I'm weighted down as well because I have the... the armor perk and it recruits weight, but obviously if I'm not getting anything equipped. We're at 521, so I've got to be careful. I just want to check these bodies just one last time to see if there's anything I missed. Doesn't look like it though. Where's the other one? Uh, hunting bow, orcish dagger. It'll take us right to the limit, but I'm having it. Let's check the map. And miss what she's cleared. Perfect. So that's, that's been quite a decent episode actually. Uh, but obviously I'm weighted down, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to uh, Honeyside. Um, I'm going to ditch all the stuff we've got on. Actually, no. Um, yeah, it's just quicker for me to do that. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Riften. Uh, I'll visit Honeyside. I'll ditch all the stuff that we've got waiting us down so that we can get back on the road. Um, and we'll see where we go from here. For now, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. 
and peace.